Welcome to Let's Talk with Forever Young Films, a uh, platform design for people to kind of get to know some of the Houston area prospects and players by asking them a series of questions and allowing them to answer in their own words. Uh, today, we have one of the premier shooters in the city, uh, Mr. Kobe Raspberry. Even though he does not have his beard no more, we'll let him go ahead and, and get us started right. by uh, telling us your profile, your name, your height, your school, all of that kind of stuff. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Colby Raspberry. I'm a 6'1 uh, combo guard, uh, class of 2022, uh, 3.4 GPA, and test scores will be taken in this spring. Okay, and you're at Side Ranch, right? Yes, sir. I mean, and y'all are loaded. So yes, um, with that being said, with y'all having so many talented guards, uh, I'll ask this question first. For those players that play your position and have have a similar skill set and may um, match up with you or comparable to you size wise. What is it about you um, that sets you apart from those other players? Um, I feel like I bring a more gritty play style to the, the table and a more like hardworking player. And like, I mean, I pick up everyone. I feel like I'm more of a leader than them. And I just feel like I play an overall better game. Okay, so with you leading on the floor and off of the floor, apparently with your um, grades and stuff, uh, what is it about you on the floor that makes you so productive? What are your strengths and what can a college um, be happy that you're coming in their program because you're providing uh, this strength? What is that strength? I feel like I uh, can provide, a, I have high level uh, basketball IQ. Um, I'm a team player. I'm gonna be unselfish. So I'm not gonna be selfish at all. Um, I'm gonna bring scoring and shooting to the table. Um, I'm not gonna turn, I'm very I'm very rarely gonna turn the ball over, minimal turnovers, and I can handle the ball under pressure. All right, so everybody knows this summer, players were limited to uh, access to the gym and, and things of that nature because of the COVID uh, pandemic. Uh, and I know that you played with Texas Takeover Elite a little bit, and I saw you a whole lot with All In One uh, with the events that they had. Uh, tell me what you were working on, what you've improved, and how you've been able to implement all of that work into your game today. Yes, sir. Well, first of all, I just want to shout out All in One because none of us really wouldn't have been available without them. I mean, they helped me a lot this summer, get my name out there and stuff. Their summer league, I got a lot of work running the one, two, and three, um, especially a lot of the one. I averaged 13 points, six rebounds, and four assists in the overall of the summer league. Um, I worked out two to three times a week with my strength and conditioning coach, Coach Dash, and also got two to three times a week um, in the gym, on the gun, getting a lot of shots up a day and stuff. That's about it. Yeah, and the good thing about All in One is that I live relatively close to you, so it was easy for me to get there. <laughs> yes, sir. It was very easy. <laughs> very convenient. Okay, so um, like we like we like we've mentioned earlier, man, you're getting it done in the classroom and and soon your phone will start ringing and colleges will start contacting you. Um, and as your recruitment picks up, what are you looking for in a college program? Like what, what is gonna pique your interest as far as a college program is concerned? Yes, sir. Um, I'm looking for like a strong, uh, who value, a strong college who values their education first and a school that, that will uh, offer a good business program first and um, I would like to start my own like sports management, sports management company. Um, also, would like a college that that prides family and faith. Big, big, and big faith guy. Um, that's it. And I was um, kind of interested to hear you not say uh, a college that has good parties. <laughs> <laughs> but with Maybe. that. <laughs> but with that being said, what do you like to do outside of the classroom and outside of the um, outside outside of the gym? Um, honestly, I, I love to play video games. I'm a big video game guy. I love Call of Duty. Um, I love to hang out with friends. Really fun. I got a bunch of close friends lately. I've been hanging out with, having some fun. Uh, I love fishing. Um, I love. Eat, I love eating food. I <laughs> love food, man. That's awesome. And that's about it. All right, so I'm gonna let you get out of here with this. Um, 
give us a funny story about yourself that's happened in your past or happened to someone around you. Might be a little bit embarrassing and you might not want to let that girl you like at school hear this story. Let's let's get that story and then I'll let you get out of here. Nah, it's nothing really embarrassing. It's honestly, it's honestly cool. Um, so well, so it was uh, when the Super Bowl was in was in Houston. Uh, me and my uh, mom went to a uh, Super Bowl like celebrity game, and so we we're we we're having fun at that game. So many celebrities like Antonio Brown, Snoop Dogg, bunch of DJ Khaled, bunch of cool celebrities. So after the game, we were outside and I saw like a, a car, like a nice car, and I was like, that might that might be someone. So I kind of went up. And uh, I not like I kind of knocked or like yelled. I was like, "Hey, who is that?" And they rolled down the window, and it was Snoop Dogg. And I was like, "Wow!" And I was like, "What's up, Snoop?" And he was like, "What's up, man? Come here." And I went and, like got a picture with them, and he was like, he he was he was out of there. Like I like to say, right? And I just yeah, I got a picture with them, and it was it was so cool. So when he rolled down the window, did smoke come out? <laughs> I, I honestly don't remember. I don't think so, but you can tell he was out of there. Okay, man. Well, I'll let you get out of uh, out of here with that, man. Appreciate yes, you sir. for calling in and appreciate um, you. Thank you. Oh, no problem.